It's Tim Patterson, Trade Show Guy Exhibits, tradeshowguy.net. This week, a quick little video on a few things I've learned in blogging for a dozen years. That's right, it's been 12 years this week since I first posted on my fresh new blog at uh, tradeshowguyblog.com. Uh, it was December. I actually registered it in November of 2008. The first post went up, I think, December 9th, uh, 2008. The next one wasn't until you know, five or six weeks later. But here are some things I've learned from 12 years of blogging. Uh, number one, blogging is a commitment. You got to show up. Yeah, all the time. No blogging for a week or two and then waiting another month or three or four. Got to be there all the time. Each blog is different, of course, and it doesn't matter a whole lot the frequency of posting, but you should have some consistency about it. And you don't just have to write. You can also post a video and audio and photographs. Even the occasional slide deck from like a keynote or a PowerPoint. So think multimedia. It doesn't have to be long, you know. Uh, Seth Godin is a guy that's been blogging for 7,000 days straight. Sometimes it's just a single sentence or two. Other times it's a lengthier thing, but uh, you know, showing up every single day for him works. I try to show up, you know, two, three, four times a week, but I'm always there, so consistency. But it doesn't have to be long. You also learn a lot from blogging. I have been amazed by how much I've learned over the years. You you research things, you read things, you meet people, you talk to people. And the simple act of putting words onto your computer screen in a way that makes sense uh, helps you understand what you're trying to communicate and it helps you learn. Blogging is not a way to make money, uh, but it can bring you business. I've learned this. I, I didn't get into it to, to make money. I just thought it was fun to do. But I have had people find me and as a result uh, become a client and they found the blog because the blog has gotten somewhat popular in the trade show world. Uh, next up, by posting video, you, you learn about video production. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's the same thing with audio. If you, if you do a bot podcast, you're going to learn about audio production. But I've learned a lot about video production just by doing a lot of it over the years uh, for my blog. Which leads me to, of course, blogs are the perfect platform for podcasting and video blogging, or as they call it, vlogging. I never get comfortable saying vlogging, but I started Trade Show Guy Monday Morning Coffee four years ago so I could have a regular outlet to get in front of a microphone and camera and you know, kind of show more of what I'm doing and talk to people as well. So number eight, uh, speaking of uh, getting in front of a camera and a microphone, you reveal yourself. You have to be transparent. You can hide some things, but... You know, blog generally lets people see the real you. And and you have to be transparent about what your business is, what you do, and how you are as a person. Uh, number nine, you meet a lot of people. I've, I've met a lot of people over the years, even a few famous people like this guy right here. <laughs> you, you talk to people, you meet people, you interact with them, you learn from them. Uh, just the fact that I've been a blogger has allowed me to meet a lot of people. And I think uh, finally by blogging, I feel I'm always moving forward uh, you're taking a step a day a step every other day a couple steps a week the blog is a great space to share what the, my company's doing what i'm doing you know the pitfalls that we have the stumbles we make uh, highlighting new, new products uh, shows i attend or exhibit at people i meet and much much more and it's a great way to get that forward motion feeling going thanks for watching i hope you read my blog at tradeshowguyblog.com